Hi, I'm Russell Conti with Soapbox Productions. I love working with leather. I'm going to share some of my favorite tips for getting successful results. Make certain you purchase leather that your machine can accommodate. In my experience, most household machines, you don't want to really sew much more than what would be a dime's weight of leather. When I go to purchase my leather, I take a dime with me and I make certain that the thickness of the leather is no thicker than that dime. That's going to serve me pretty well as a gauge for most weights of leather that I'm going to use on my sewing machine. When you purchase leather, you're buying it by the hide. You're buying a half hide or a full hide. So make certain when you look at it, you open it up to verify that there are no flaws on that leather that you can't otherwise accommodate in your project. When you're looking at leather as well, there's more stretch in leather from side to side than from head to tail. Not a big deal when you're cutting things out, but something to be mindful of. When you get ready to sew, do not pin. Once you've pinned it, it's already left marks. Some of my favorites, I love wonder clips because I can clip my leathers together and hold them in place. If you're having difficulty with that, another product called Wonder Tape works remarkably well. It's a double-sided sticky tape. When you get ready to sew, make certain you increase your stitch length. Take a sample of the leathers and the number of layers you're going to be working with and then sew on the machine. We don't want to perforate a lot. We simply want to sew our garment or our project together successfully. We'll want to increase that stitch length. In my experience, it's typically about twice the stitch length that I would use for a normal weight of fabric. When I was making my messenger bag, I increased my stitch length all the way up to four millimeters. So check it out for yourself to see what works best. You want to make certain you use an appropriate needle and you're going to want to test out multiple types of needles. There's definitely a leather needle and it works pretty well for most things, but you might find more success with a stretch needle or a universal needle. And just like fabric, where the weight of the needle gets bigger as the weight of the fabric gets heavier, we want to make certain we accommodate for the leather in the same way. So do tests with different needles to make certain that you're getting a result that is appropriate for the work that you want to accomplish. The next tip, make certain you're using a thread that's appropriate to your project. A great quality polyester will serve you really well. Just all purpose. The heaviest weight you can use on your domestic sewing machine that I have found successful is a size 46, and that's a nylon thread for the most part. Anything heavier than that becomes a little problematic. For more tips and tricks, visit babyloft.com. In the meantime, have a great day sewing.